everyone. So yesterday I filmed an outfit of the night video for you guys and I said that today I would be filming my what's in my carry-on bag video which is this one right now obviously. It has taken me so long to finish packing and today officially I am done packing. I have everything that I need to bring, to bring with me um that I can think of so hopefully I haven't forgotten anything I'm just bringing you one bag so um, originally I had a kind of a rolly luggage and um, the bag that I'm bringing but uh, I condensed everything down to just this bag for my carry-on and then I have two huge luggages that I'll be checking in but I'll just go ahead and get started so this little guy right here is what I'll be carrying on with me and I say little, but it's not at all. It's pretty heavy, and I actually intend on putting my laptop inside of it. But I'm filming on my laptop now, so it's heavy even without my laptop. So somehow I'll manage, but I feel like I need all of this. I am going to go ahead and kind of try to show you how it looks on the inside. So it's like that. And you can see there in the middle where that slot is, that's where my laptop goes. Which is really nice because it has some pretty thick foam, it feels like. Um, that will provide a barrier for my laptop, so hopefully um, it doesn't get too damaged. This is my travel makeup bag. It's kind of tiny, but I mean considering how much I already had in this bag, I had to make... Um, I had to bring a small one with me. And this is just for the plane, and it's going to be such a long flight. I have... Um, I think a two and a half hour flight um, before I connect um, and that's in Canada and then I'm there for four and a half hours and then I'm on the plane for another however many hours um, before I finally get there and so I thought that I'd probably be needing to touch up on makeup just because of how long the flight is. I have this Tarte mascara and primer, um, a Laura Geller what is this? Blush. It's called Bright Blush and Brighten. <laughs> and it looks like this. I've had this for a while. And um, I have a kind of corally natural like blush by La Femme Hollywood. And then a fresh minerals bronzer that just looks like this. I have a photo ready concealer. And I have a MAC lipstick in Lady Gaga. Oh, I caught it. And, um, let's see, I have an eyebrow lifter and filler. I don't, I just use this to fill, I don't use it to lift. And, um, this is from e.l.f. And then I have this Kors, um, black eyeliner. I feel like I'm rambling now. I have... <laughs> As you can tell, I have more than I'll be needing, but I, I think that I'm going to enjoy the selection. Um, so I have two lip butters, um, Revlon lip butters in um, Tutti Frutti and Creamsicle. Then I have a primer, which I don't even know why it's in here because I don't even, I'm not bringing the rest of my face makeup, but I have a primer. And then I have a Makeup Forever, um, what is this, Lab Shine lip gloss, and then I have an e.l.f. plumping lip gloss. So that is all I have, and sorry if that was kind of a lot, considering I don't even do makeup videos. I have a bunch of wristlets I'm bringing with me because I like to compartmentalize things. This is a little silver clutch, and it's by Coach. I got this for Christmas, I think, last year. And I have some random things in here. I have these zebra napkins because I just like to carry napkins with me whenever I travel. And I think that they might come in handy because you tend to need them, I feel, when you don't have any. Like you spill something and you need one. So I like to travel with them. I have this Carmex, which is actually my boyfriend's. I'm actually bringing it back to him. Um, but I'll be using it until then. So I hope he's okay with that. And I have a tiny little perfume vial which is the oh no I don't remember this is the one that I got from my September birch box and I also did a video including this but I can't remember the brand I'll go ahead and link it somewhere and then I just have feminine products so that is what I'm keeping in here there's another little wristlet and this one is yellow it's really cute I got this 
I don't know when I got this. I got this a while ago, a few years ago. And it's just a wristlet. It looks like this. And it's by the brand Dooney and & Burke. And inside I have my little recorder, flip video recorder, um, that looks like this. And I'm just going to use this to try to do some some vlogs while I'm um, at the airport and just on the plane or I don't know I'm just I'm carrying it with me because I need it anyways when I get there but I'm also um, going to try to muster up some courage to do some vlogging by myself while I'm traveling internationally so we'll see and um, that's all I have in this I just wanted to keep it separate because um, I lost the case if I, I don't even know if I've ever even had a case for it but I've lost it if I did and I don't want it to get scratched or anything this is the last little wristlet um, and this is a coach one as well. It looks like this, and I got this for Christmas as well, um, I think last year. And this, I just have money. Literally, I just have my money in here because, um, I have American dollars in here, and I'm keeping them separate because I'm going to have to do a currency exchange, and I haven't decided... I don't think you care to know this, but I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet, if I'm going to do it here or abroad, but until then, I have it in here, so just to keep it separate. And I'm also taking a wallet. I don't know where my wallet is with me, where my wallet is right now, but I'm also taking a wallet with me with my credit cards and my ID, my license and stuff like that. Let's see. I have this envelope, this little envelope, which is actually what my passport was mailed to me in, and I haven't decided how I'm going to store this. I might put it in a clutch or something like that, um, but I haven't decided yet, and nothing special. This is just how a U.S. passport looks, so nothing special, but for now I'm keeping it in the little original envelope, and then I also have my checkbook, which I have Precious Moments checks. Um, let's see if I can show you. They look like this. There's like a few different ones, and I love these so much. I always reorder them because I like the colors and the characters, and I just really like Precious Moments. I have two different books for reading material. I have this Nicholas Sparks' The Best of Me book and my Ellen DeGeneres book, and the thought behind that is that I'll probably read um, my Ellen one first, and if I finish that for the way back, I'll have this one. I have my City Guide Book of London, which my boyfriend bought me. Um, he sent it to me, I think on Amazon, uh, a while ago when we, a little bit after I told him that I was going to come out to visit him, and so he bought me this. I'm going to bring it with me on the plane so I can look over everything and kind of see if I find anything that I would like to do. Um, on top of what he's already planned. So I have this book. I have my glasses. They are nothing special really. They look like this. This is the case and um, they just look like this. I use them mostly when I read. Um, sometimes I have vision, like bad vision days, kind of like bad hair days where I just feel the need for my glasses and then I'll wear them all day. But um, if not, then I usually just wear them when I read. And they are nothing special, they're just regular glasses, and they have kind of like a green gold tint on them on the sides. So as I'm bringing books with me, I am going to bring my reading glasses. Next, this is a little bit weird, I think maybe. Um, I'm bringing some slippers because I'm probably going to wear boots onto the plane because I don't want to add more weight to my luggage, um, my luggages that I already have. I am going to be bringing these fuzzy socks because these fuzzy socks are so warm and obviously nowhere close to being a fashion statement but they're very warm and I tend to get really cold on flights so I will be changing as soon as I get onto the plane. Um, into these. Okay, so we're nearing the end. Um, nothing special, just some earplugs here because sometimes if I want to sleep on the plane it's hard for me just because you can hear the airplane itself and people talking, especially when people talk. I have been fortunate to not have um, been on too many flights with people speaking loud or children being loud, um, but in the event I have earplugs. I think this might be it if I can get it out. I have two DVDs 
um, oh, sorry, two DVDs. The first one is Mamma Mia. It's been out for a while, but I haven't seen all of it. I've seen, like, clips of it here and there on TV. And then also this DVD, A Walk to Remember. My boyfriend hasn't seen it, and I've been asking him to see it because I've been catching it on TV every few months, and I really enjoy this film, and he hasn't seen it, and I've been asking him to try to watch it, and... I don't know, he hasn't been able to, I'm not sure if that's a coincidence or just bad luck, but I'm going to be bringing it so that way we can watch it together because something tells me that he's not watching it for a reason and since I have this with me, we can sit down and we can watch it and he's gonna love it, so I, <laughs> he might not like it, <laughs> but I'm bringing it and so I might even watch it on the way back if I get really bored. Um, and then the very last thing is just my camera. So it is a few years old. I bought it for a Christmas present for myself after Christmas a few years ago. And it looks like this. It is a Samsung um, TL220. And I'm just bringing this with me to, obviously to take pictures because I know that I'll be taking a lot. That is it. And that, other than my laptop, which I'm filming on, is everything that will go into this huge carry-on that I'm going to have to lug around the airport. Um, but I think it's worth it because I'd rather have more than I need than be on a plane for as long as I'll be on a plane and not have the things that I, I wanted to have with me. So <laughs> I hope that you guys are doing well, and then I think I should just say a quick disclaimer. I am going, obviously, because this is what this whole video is about, I am going to be leaving the nation. So I think this is my last video until I'm there. I'm going to try my best to do some vlogging, which is, I'm pretty sure I can't possibly forget because um, I love filming when I go to new places. So I won't forget and I will try to put up some videos while I'm there, depending on the internet um, situation. So I'm not entirely sure how that looks, but if not, then I'll definitely have some when I get back, which is the 4th of January, 2012. And if I don't get to put up another video until then, I just wanted to say that I hope you guys are going, if you haven't already celebrated the holidays that you celebrate, um, I hope that you have great holidays and I hope that you guys stay safe during the holidays and if you're traveling stay safe traveling and other than that I hope you guys are just doing well in general so I will talk to you guys soon in my next video bye